Elon Musk leaked China's most powerful fighter jet that will shock the USAF. Chinese jets roar over Taiwan. Hey guys, welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. Today, we'll be taking a look at Elon Musk's huge reveal regarding Chinese Air Force superiority. Make sure to stick to the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you like today's video. It helps us a long way. Speaker Nancy Pelosi arrived in Taiwan on Tuesday despite numerous warnings from China, which reportedly patrols airspace near the island with powerful fighter jets. Chinese authorities have completely rejected U.S. policy to create any bilateral terms with Taiwan. Relations between China and Taiwan have long been strained as Taiwan claims independence, but China insists that it controls the island. She said, America's solidarity with the 23 million people of Taiwan is more important today than ever as the world faces a choice between autocracy and democracy. In an article for the Washington Post, which went online after her arrival, Mrs. Pelosi escalated her rhetoric, saying that Taiwan's democracy was under threat. China's Reaction to Pelosi's Taiwan Tour China sent Su-30 fighter jets to the Taiwan Strait, where one of the jets had an unsafe encounter with an American military plane in June, Politico reported. On Monday, Chinese Foreign Ministry Deputy Director Zhou Lijian warned that the visit would lead to serious consequences, as China regards it as a threat to the One China Unification Policy. China will take resolute and strong measures to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity. As for what measures exactly we will take, let's wait and see if she dares to make the visit, he said. International relations experts have raised numerous apprehensions that her visit could flare an international crisis or an escalation of tensions between China and either the U.S. or Taiwan. In the USA, both Democrats and Republicans have applauded Pelosi for not being intimidated by the threats from China. Mrs. Pelosi's visit comes amid fears that China could invade self-ruled Taiwan to unify the island with the mainland. The U.S., like the U.K., does not maintain formal diplomatic links with Taiwan, but it is seen as a rampart against China's influence in Asia, and Joe Biden has vowed to defend it. The U.S. President's Effort to Cool Down the Alarming Situation In a telephone call with President Xi last week, Mr. Biden clarified that he could not prevent Mrs. Pelosi because Congress is an independent branch of government. Advising her not to go would also have been seen as buckling to Chinese intimidation. The Speaker has been a persistent critic of China throughout her association with Congress. Thirty years ago, she unfurled a banner in Beijing's Tiananmen Square in memory of those killed in the bloody 1989 crackdown on pro-democracy protesters. Mrs. Pelosi was also a firm supporter of the 2019 freedom protest in Hong Kong. Musk has already disapproved of Pelosi's trip to Taiwan. The U.S.-China relationships have already been into turbulence, would further get intensified. The Global Times cautioned Tuesday that the Biden regime would face a serious reversal in China-U.S. relations for Pelosi's trip. That could mean recalling China's U.S. ambassador, King Gang, who took up his post last year. How strong is the Chinese Air Force? The People's Liberation Army Air Force employs a large and assorted fleet of some 3,010-plus aircraft, of which around 2,100 are combat aircraft, including fighters, attack, and bombers. International Institute for Strategic Studies claims the PLAAF combat pilots acquire an average of 100 to 150 flying hours per year. China started buying fourth-generation fighters from Russia in the early 1990s to expand its fleet and acquire technological expertise. Between 1992 and 2015, China bought a number of Su-27, Su-30MKK, and Su-35 fighter aircraft from Russia and instantly started creating versions of those aircraft. More than 150 J-16s and multiple variants are in service with the PLAAF, which in November began combat training of the J-16D, an electronic warfare variant. Introduced in 2005, the J-10 is a single-engine, multi-role fighter with a delta wing and canner design. The PLAAF's proudest accomplishment has been its fifth-generation stealth fighter, the J-20 Mighty Dragon. J-20 is believed to be capable of a maximum speed close to Mach 2 and with a ceiling of about 60,000 feet and a range of almost 700 miles. China is also developing a more progressive air-to-air -air missile arsenal. It has also demonstrated enhanced aerial refueling capabilities, which the Pentagon declares will let its jets operate farther and for longer. Let's have a quick look at America's F-22 and J-20 comparison. 
Here are how those two fighter jets compare to America's F-22 Raptor fighter jets, touted as one of the military's most advanced jets and which have previously been sent to the Pacific region amid strained U.S.-China relations. The F-22 can fly as fast as 1,500 miles per hour, exceeding the maximum speed of the J-20. It maxes out at about 1,321 miles per hour, and the Su-30 travels as fast as 1,317 miles per hour. The J-20 can travel slightly further than the F-22, without having to stop to refuel. The F-22 has an expedition range of 1,864 miles, while the J-20s calculated have a range of about 2,000 miles, as stated by the aviation website Executive Flyers. Aero Corner estimates that the Su-30 fighter jet from China has a range of roughly 1,864 miles. Since it's typically seen as being less potent than the J-20, it poses less of a threat to the F-22 in a possible conflict. F-22 widely considered as strongest jet. The J-20 is thought to be the most powerful fighter jet in China's military, but numerous experts still feel that America's F-22 would prevail in a matchup between the two planes. Although the extent of the J-20's credentials is yet to be unknown, the bigger size of the J-20 jet is thought to make it possibly less agile than an F-22, according to the international affairs magazine National Interest. The publication claims that the F-22 can maintain faster speeds for longer periods. According to Insider, the F-22 has an advantage over the J-20 due to its ability to fly higher, as well as its superior stealth technology, skilled pilots, and China's trouble building a stronger engine. Jeremy Clements reported to Newsweek on August 3rd. A footnote is needed for these comparisons. It is typical for the U.S. military to understate the capabilities of aircraft. Meanwhile, it's common for China to overstate military capabilities. White Boy Tears added, maybe, but it's also typical for the American general public to overstate the capabilities of the U.S. military to the point where they make up non-existent weapons in their mind to counteract operational weapons from other countries. Hypersonics is a good example. Musk's Business Terms with China China is undoubtedly Tesla's second largest market, responsible for manufacturing around half of its cars and yielding more than a quarter of its revenue. In 2019, Tesla became the first foreign automaker to open an independent factory in China, which was recently selected by Shanghai authorities as one of 600 businesses that could reopen during a COVID lockdown in the city. Tesla secured roughly $1.6 billion in loans from Chinese banks to finance the project and has also received a $1.8 billion investment from Tencent, one of China's largest tech companies. He has frequently acclaimed the nation for its technological ingenuity on Twitter and in interviews. In January, Elon Musk declared the current year he would disclose the location of Tesla's fifth super factory in China. Musk needs China to ensure Tesla's success. His close connections with China go beyond business, and they raise serious concerns. He recently talked about space in a pre-recorded video at the Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C., and he's on record as saying that China rocks, and he complimented the CCP on its 100th anniversary. The Chengdu J-20 is China's most progressive stealth fighter jet. The jet, nicknamed the Mighty Dragon, was presented to China's People's Liberation Army Air Force in March 2017. Elon Musk is optimistic that he can supply the U.S. Air Force with hypersonic fighter E-Jets. In a presentation given while in front of the Starship, as Musk called it, he claimed that they'll be able to produce hypersonic E-Jets in a matter of days. Dear friends, we have discussed the rising conflict between the U.S. and China. Hopefully, the China and the USA will move on to better diplomatic talk, finding a favorable solution. Please leave a comment down below your own thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. And subscribe to the channel as an offering to the gods of the algorithm. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.